And it goes a little something like this. Everything sports culture. Sports rap. Sports, sounds, and sneakers. And boom goes the dynamite. And now, sports rap. Sports rap live with Adam Rap. Adam Rap. Andrew Martinez. Mar- Mar- Martinez. And DJ Guns. Johnny, you played the wrong one. It's all good, though. Okay. <laughs> Hot. 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 Well, welcome back to Sports Rap why, Live, why everybody. You gotta, why you gotta call him out like that? I just all of a sudden I was like, is it eight o'clock? Here we go, man. Damn. It's an all new well, show to right kick now. Kick it back, you know, to kick it back a little bit. Yep. This is Chum Lee. You're listening to Sports Rap Live on Sports Talk 790 AM and iHeartRadio. Thank you, Chum. Chum's got his bling on tonight. If you could see him here on the table, of course, he is repping. For Fat Tuesday, That's even though it's up. a Thursday. It's got his Mardi Gras bling on. It's fat every day for Chum <laughs> Lee. And I'm, I'm talking <laughs> P-H-A-T, all right? That's right. We got Chum. We got Jeff Staple on the building. Of course, we got our boy on the streets that lives under a bridge with the Bob Marley shirt. Yeah, he, he called brought, that the lady killer. He brought the lady killer for the show tonight, just for us, man. Yeah. Yeah. And we got a... Lounge full of people here tonight. Of course, the Booth Addicts listening party is going down later on, right after Sports Trap Live. But we have got to get into some more talk with Andrew Martinez. And no, we're no noise ordinance, please. No, we're just playing the CD, <laughs> just like we play music, just like DJ Gons holds us down with the best music. If we had a guest on, like Ryan Grant, shout out to Ryan Grant and Premium Pete, first of all, and Bun B checking in from San Antonio. But playing if we got his Black Star, too. Playing the man's beats for him while he's interviewing live on Sports Rap Live. All I right, mean, all right, all right. Yeah. Man, but we got to get into some baseball talk. Of course, the rap sheet was brought to you by Diamond Supply Co., but we're just taking it straight to the diamond itself. And spring training is in full effect. And we are going to lead you guys right up to the front gates of opening day. And we're going to look at each division to give you a preview and our predictions as Andrew will have his eyes on the Major League Baseball diamond all season long. I know Gons has been up on his baseball-ish for the last couple years. So uh, here's a couple of stories just to open up. And we're going to start in the AL East as we take a trip around spring training over the next couple weeks, Andrew. Well, first we got to start about, you know, who's who's leaving and who's coming to the team, and then we'll kind of get into some of the storylines from last year and this year. Let's start with the New York Yankees, please. Let's do it. Okay, so they're losing Jorge Posada, retirement. A.J. Burnett got traded to the Pirates after he vetoed a trade to the Angels. That's a big loss. And they lost Jesus Montero in a trade to the Mariners. Now, they're bringing on Michael Pineda from the Mariners as part of that trade. Hiroki Kuroda, they signed him from the Dodgers. And they brought in Raul Abanez as a free agent for the Phillies. Some of the injuries they have, A-Rod isn't hurt, but that's just a matter of time because his hip is probably going to act up. And they have Jabba, who's recovering from Tommy John surgery. Some of the storylines last year from the Yankees were, you know, Posada, he didn't enter that one game. There was the whole Posada gate, and it was a big hubbub about if he was going to retire or whatnot. He ended up retiring after the season. A-Rod's hip was a big story. Jeter's 3,000 hits was a huge story, a huge, huge story. Granderson, he had a big power spike. DJ 3K, baby. That's right. Granderson had a big power spike. He became more of a, a power hitter from the left side of the plate. Also, that rotation never felt like it was set in 2011 after CC. This year, we're looking for the last season of Mo Rivera, a new rotation with the new stars that we just talked about, and more of the aging stars with Jeter and, and A-Rod. And some of the prospects to watch for for this year, Adam, are the starting pitchers, Manny Benuelos and Dylan Batances. So it's, they're heavy on the arms, on the arms race, if yeah. you want to call yeah, it that. Yeah, it's, it's a whole different... It's a whole different uh, rotation this year with the guys they have. I think it's going to be interesting now that they have Kuroda and they have Michael Pineda. It's it's definitely going to give them more depth than they've Hiroshi had in a while. Hiroshi Kuroda, of course, came from where? Hiroki Kuroda from the, the Dodgers. Dodgers. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Gons, your thoughts on the Yankees? I think that was their their major uh, factor was getting their uh, their lineup, their starting lineup as far as with pitching was concerned. And the whole, I'm so glad Burnett left because he was such a distraction for that team and he was so up and down to have him gone and to the pirates which is you know whatever they're 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 that weird (laughs) team like usually they start giving players away which they always seem to be doing and so it's just kind of funny that they kind of ended up bringing a guy that it just isn't that great there's there's glimpses of greatness but there's never consistency with it yep yep all right let's keep it moving the next thing we're going to talk about adam was the red sox and some of the people they have leaving this year. They're losing their GM and Theo Epstein. They're also losing manager Tito Francona to ESPN. 
They lost closer Jonathan Papelbon to the Phillies. They lost Jed Lowry to the Astros. We traded for him. And they lost Marco Scudero to the Rockies, so they traded him. Uh, in comes Ben Sherrington, who's their new GM. They, uh, he's also within the Red Sox organization. Manager Bobby Valentine, who came from sort of ESPN. And before that, he was with Japan, uh, J Japanese teams. And before then, the Mets, famously. They also <laughs> yeah. brought in... Uh, with a pitcher, Mark Melanson, who came from the Astros as part of that trade we mentioned a minute ago. Closer, Andrew Bailey from the A's. And they also brought on Cody Ross as the outfielder and Nick Punto from the World Championship Cardinals. Did you say Punto? I did. Awesome. Some of the injuries they have are still lackey and Dice K are dealing with their Tommy John surgery. And Cole Crawford might not be ready to start the season because of his wrist injury, his wrist surgery. Uh, some of the storylines from last year we touched on, I'm sure everyone knows. Carl Crawford's well-known struggles, John Lackey, his struggles, the fried chicken video games, the epic collapse, that whole culmination of that perfect storm of fail. But also, through all that, there was also Jacoby Ellsbury, who had a pretty decent run in an MVP trophy. He didn't win it, but he came close. This year for 2012, we're looking for a new GM, new management. It's new management. It's a new feel to the team, sort of. But we don't know who's going to play shortstop, so that's going to be a really big deal. That's your, probably your most important defensive position. And they're also going to try and move Daniel Farr to shortstop, so that's going to be a big deal. I mean, to, to, as a starter. Right. And Andrew Bailey is their new closer. Now, guys, you were heavy on the Red Sox last year. Hell yeah. Is this team going to be yes. any better? I think so. I mean, they got – if they got Adrian Gonzalez on that team, and I know some people like to hate on Beckett, but um, I think they still got – I mean, mind you, they were having one of the – they had the best record in baseball last year. And then, you know, you had your epic collapse, but they <laughs> yeah. were they were playing the damn least. good baseball, and I see them continuing that. And I think having that, that year of Crawford – trying to get used to that market because from there to the Rays is a totally different um, set set of um, I guess a set, a set of a market oh it's a, yeah, it's a totally it. new experience it's like you're such you're in such a big or a, such a microscope that any move you do if you're having a bad day for that hour for that minute you know they grill you on it it's so I, it could have been you know just him getting acclimated to that to well that you team. spoke about the rays uh andrew now the rays are my pick to win this division because i think they have the best pitching staff and we all know pitching wins baseball games what do you see in the rays i think that they're uh they're not really losing anyone they're bringing back carlos pena that's interesting they're bringing on luke scott as a, a sort of an offensive uh player in a dh more than anything and they're bringing in jeff kevinger formerly the astros no real injuries i think it's going to be last year was more of the the epic comeback that they had and sort of moving on. I think this season is going to be all about Matt Moore and it's all going to be, it's going to be, he's going to be so awesome. I think he really could be the next sort of, uh, you know, Steven Strasburg, if you will, of the AL. He's going to be really dominant. I think we got a taste of him last year in the postseason. I really can't wait for him to come on. This team, though, is sort of like the Red Sox and then they don't have a defined shortstop. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how they can address that hole. Speaking of uh, dressing, Towards the, uh, not undressing, addressing, at the bottom of the division, you got the Blue Jays and the Orioles. Let's run through those before we get to break. Yeah, I'll run real quick. I think the Blue Jays are a team that's right on the brink. They're the next team that's going to make the, the big noise. I think if they were in any other division, they might be favored to maybe win or come in second place in their division. They still have Joey Bats. They, they brought in a lot of new talent with Brett Lowry coming over last season, Colby Rasmus coming over in a trade, Kelly Johnson. I think, I think they're heading in the right direction. As far as... As far as for the Orioles, I think they're heading in the wrong direction. I think they're going to get beat up a whole lot. I think that the loss of Jeremy Guthrie is really going to hurt them. I think that they're interesting in that Matt Wieters could take the next step and Adam Jones could blossom into a superstar. But I just see a lot of I see a lot of losing games and a lot of – I think they're probably one of the worst, if not the worst, organization in baseball right now. Uh. And, it, and it's really sad because they're in a division where it's compounded by the fact they have to play all those great teams. All right, predictions. Gons, who wins the AL East this year? <laughs> he's, he's, he's cautious after last year. I'm going to say Red Sox. I'm okay. going to say it. Okay. You I'm, it. I'm sticking with AG. There you go. Of course, the last name, Gonzalez. Hey. No, nah, because that dude, that dude is good. What's your prediction, Andrew? The Yankees, the king stay the king. Ooh, I'm going to go with Tampa Bay Rays. Jeter's going to be too worried about his new That's home. Good. And we we're going to all do this again at the end of spring training because a lot's going to change, I'm of sure, course. with injuries and of whatnot. Course. And we're going to keep our eyes on spring training and all the baseball action. And you're going to be out there covering a lot of the Astros games this year. So we are looking forward to that. We're going to keep it moving here, though, and uh, get to break. When we come back, man, it's a whole new galaxy. Right here on the table at Sports Wrap Live. So you guys stick around. We're gonna Don't talk. beat up nobody, please. No, nobody's getting beat up. Don't beat up nobody no. for the MacBook Pro default picture shoe. Here we go. We'll Calm be right down. back here on Sports Wrap Live. <laughs> 